We're going out to Black Mesa area of the reservations and um, there back in 19... 74 Congressional Act got passed called Public Law 93531 and that was calling for removal of over 10,000 Navajos to move off the lands that they've occupied you know since um, they emerged from within the earth and the reason why they want us to move off these land is to um, to do coal mining development there's two mine sites, Black Mesa Mine and uh, Kienta Mine. Slowly from 74 on to today, people are moving off, you know, and each year they, the government says so many people need to move, so many people. So this year we have 17 families that are subject to that, to, to being removed. And uh, some people are refusing to move off the land because uh, that's the only way of life they know where they graze uh, animals, sheep, goats, horses, cattle. They live off those animals and then they farm. It's hard for them to come into the cities, to the border towns and live because here everything you have, a home, a car, you know, everything you pay for, mm -hmm. like in taxes, mortgages and stuff like that. So because of the lack of um, understanding of those things and then people don't have economic skills to provide for themselves or their survival they just you know rather stay out there and not be transported to another location but I need to put like a insulation back mm -hmm. in there and then cover it right, right. and then the windows some of them are plastic mm. So then I need to get some regular windows and because we're not allowed to reconstruct our homes or do any kind of home improvement, I decided I was going to add a different level, another level upward since yeah. it's not allowed this way we'll grow up. <laughs> this is where I need help yes. as a woman. Yes. And um, it's appreciated whenever somebody can put time aside from their own schedule, come out here and say, what do you need? How do you need help? Through the relocation law, they capped off all the water holes so that people won't have water. So they've been trying to starve us out for at least um, 32 years for now. Um, capping the water not allowing people to grow their food, this, uh, denying them to harvest food from the wild. Also, you know, the ceremonial site where we have our healing ceremonies that got demolished as well. And we have uh, been just subjected to harassment, abuse, and uh, neglect for all my life. The condition that they force us to live in and refuse to help us by all means necessary, you know, by denying us social services, but denying us education, denying us human rights, and, you know, 
we just continue to exist here because that's all we know and that's all we can do. So last night I had a beautiful dream that I was back out here with my sheep, which I have down there by Flagstaff. So, you know, I just hope that that can happen soon. So I'm planning to come back out here by November and being home again. I do miss it. 